Hi, and welcome. Uh, my name is Tony Caruso, and I'm an event producer, and I train on how you can make the most of every stage you step upon. And I'm very excited that we are doing an event on February the 19th, and I have a lineup of experts that is so amazing, you have to be in the room. And I wanna share one of those experts with you today. So the name of the event is Steal the Stage and Seduce Your Audience. So that's what we all wanna do. We want our audience to fall in love with us and then get into our community, buy our products, be a part of our, our group, and just learn from us and share and grow together. I know that's a lot, but it's that know, like, and trust. And here with me today is Susan Trumbler, and she is an expert at helping us with that horrible S word, sales. You know, you all hate it. We all hate the word sales. We don't like to be sold to. But it's important for speakers to understand that they are not selling. They are giving opportunities to work together and build their businesses together. I hope that makes sense, but Susan's going to make it all make sense with us. So welcome, Susan. Can you just give us a little quick bio on who you are and what you do? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tony. I, my business, Unstoppable Women in Business, is here for one reason and is to stomp out the exact thing you just said, why people dread selling. I, it makes me sad because it can be so rewarding and so much fun. If you, if you approach it with the right perspective, I've been um, in the sales world for 20 plus years, but more importantly, for the last nine of those, I've owned a research company that researches what behaviors lead to the best success for sellers. And so I really do have a lot of information and intel around like how you can create connected conversations instead of sales conversations. I love that. And she's got the science behind her. So, you know, that that's a whole nother level that right there, mm -hmm. but how <laughs> do, how do a beginning speaker, like, you know, if you're just starting mm -hmm. out and I know that everybody, you know, it, they get, they stumble when it's like, Ooh, I have to make an offer or, Ooh, I got to ask for an email, yeah. whatever that is that they're offering. How do you make that more comfortable and more authentic? Now, we don't have to go into a lot of detail because she's going to be spending an hour with us at this event, just really digging in and helping you make the, be comfortable with this. But, you know, just some quick tips on what we should know and how we should um, move forward and feel comfortable with sales. Absolutely. So it's, I can give you a tip that somebody could use today. Like it's, it's that easy and yet, it takes a little bit of practice. So the thing that people, the, the reason people shut down and get uncomfortable uh, when it comes to a sales type conversation or when they you know, are meeting somebody and they wanna ask them for something, ask for an email, ask for uh, a sale is because in that moment, they're thinking about themselves. They want it. I want their email so I can do this. I want to sell them that so I can meet my revenue goal. You become very um, self-centric in a lot of ways during sales conversations. So if you can just pause for a minute and just think about who you're talking to, what it is they want the most in life and how you can bring value to that desire. Like what is it that you have that will help them get what they want then what you're doing is you're asking them for something that will help them. Give me your email address because I have something I want to share with you that I know will make a difference for you. If you were to go into this program, here's what you would be able to get from it. As soon as you turn your perspective from the buyer's perspective um, on what the value is, it lowers that internal, like you said, science, that internal brain chatter that you have around feeling sleazy or uh, salesy. It makes all of the, all the difference in the world. And I have, as being in the back of the house at so many events, I have seen people go up and just nail, just nail that offer. And people are signing up. I mean, there was one gentleman, I was literally filling out the paper in the back of the room you know, after 10 minutes of him talking, I'm like, I don't know what he does. I don't know what, I just want to be in his world just because of the energy and the way that he presented himself. Then there are those other people that walk on and you just, it's like that used car salesman type of sale. 
And it's just, it's uncomfortable. It's not authentic and it's all about them. And you are so right. I have watched audiences just kind of go in and go, Ugh. and then I've watched audiences, which I think is really sad is the audiences that go, they're selling to me. Oh, I can't believe they're going to do an offer. We all are in business and whether or not that person on the stage, they've probably given to you for the last 45 minutes, right? Given, given, given. Now they're offering an opportunity to work more with them. If that's not right for you, then fine. Just sit back, relax. But if it is right, fill out the paperwork because maybe the person next to you needs what that person has on stage, you know? And it's, but it's that... That authenticity, I think that's missing that you really focus in on, correct? Correct. So to connect with your audience, you know, you have to almost think about that audience as being one person, that person and know that person. Like if, and that's why I always, when I'm coaching speakers, tell them as they're preparing for a session, they have to know who's out there, what's important to them, what is their biggest problem that you can solve, and how would you connect with them so that they feel like you are part of their clan, that you actually belong with them. When you can do that authentically, then all of a sudden, if you're making an offer, they're like you when you were in that audience. Yes, I want, I need what you have, please. I do want you. And hey, if there's somebody sitting next to you that says, that's not what I want, that's fine because you're not going to get everybody, right. but you've got to try your best to modify your, your, your connection or your conversation so that you do connect with the people you're talking to. Absolutely, man. You are just, you're very calm and you're very, you just, I'm like in with you as you talk. So there's something about you that's very authentic. And I love that. So Susan is going to be spending an hour sharing with us on the stage, February the 19th. So if you would like to know more about Susan and learn more about this event, go into the um, comments. We will have a link in there for you to sign up. And right now I have a special, it's $47 for two tickets because I want you to be in the room and I want you to bring a friend who could really um, enjoy the event, learn from the event, and somebody that you know could be dynamite on the stage. Because what you need to know is there are people out there waiting for you. And they're not going to find you. You have to find them. So you've got to get on these stages and you need to start sharing your message because there are people that need you right today. So thank you, Susan. Can you share with us your website? So if people want to know more about you personally, they can get on your website. Absolutely. It's unstoppable women in business.com. It's a long one, but it's easy. Oh, we, we got it. We got it. Thank you for coming and, and sharing your message with us. And we'll see you all on the 19th.